Duquesne manufactures appliances that homeowners have come to trust. Even a trustworthy appliance requires occasional maintenance or repair. However, if you're in need of Duquesne appliance repair from experienced professionals, your local appliance helper can help. Blower. Check the blower wheel for debris and clean if necessary. The blower motors are pre-lubricated for extended bearing life. No further lubrication is needed. Filters. All air filters are installed external to the unit. Filters should be inspected monthly. Clean or replace the filters when necessary to ensure proper furnace operation. Table 3 lists recommended filter sizes. Exhaust and air intake pipes. Check the exhaust and air intake pipes and all connections for tightness and to make sure there is no blockage. Electrical. 1. Check all wiring for loose connections. 2. Check for the correct voltage at the furnace, furnace operating. Correct voltage is 120 VAC plus or minus 10%. 3. Check amp draw on the blower motor with the blower compartment access panel in place. Winterizing and condensate trap care. 1. Turn off power to the furnace. 2. Have a shallow pan ready to empty condensate water. 3. Remove the cleanout cap from the condensate trap and empty water. Inspect the trap then reinstall the cleanout cap. Cleaning heat exchanger. If cleaning the heat exchanger becomes necessary. Follow the below procedures and refer to figure 1 when disassembling unit. Use papers or protective covering in front of furnace while removing heat exchanger assembly. 1. Turn off electrical and gas supplies to the furnace. 2. Remove the furnace access panels. 3. Disconnect the two wires from the gas valve. 4. Remove gas supply line connected to gas valve. Remove gas valve manifold assembly. 5. Remove sensor wire from sensor. Disconnect two pin plug from the igniter. 6. Disconnect wires from flame rollout switches. 7. Loosen clamps at vent elbow. Disconnect condensate drain tubing from flue collar and remove the vent elbow. 8. Remove four burner box screws at the vestibule panel and remove burner box. Set burner box assembly aside. Note. If necessary, clean burners at this time. Follow procedures outlined in burner cleaning section. 9. Mark and disconnect all combustion air pressure tubing from cold end header collector box. 10. Mark and remove wires from pressure switches. Remove pressure switches. Keep tubing attached to pressure switches. 11. Disconnect the plug from the combustion air inducer. Remove two screws which secure combustion air inducer to collector box. Remove combustion air inducer assembly. Remove ground wire from vest panel. 12. Remove electrical junction box from the side of the furnace. 13. Mark and disconnect any remaining wiring to heating compartment components. Disengage strain relief bushing and pull wiring and bushing through the hole in the blower deck. 14. Remove the primary limit from the vestibule panel. 15. Remove two screws from the front cabinet flange at the blower deck. Spread cabinet sides slightly to allow clearance for removal of heat exchanger. 16. Remove screws along vestibule sides and bottom which secure vestibule panel and heat exchanger assembly to cabinet. Remove two screws from blower rail which secure bottom heat exchanger flange. Remove heat exchanger from furnace cabinet. 17. Backwash heat exchanger with soapy water solution or steam. If steam is used it must be below 275 degrees Fahrenheit, 135 degrees Celsius. 18. Thoroughly rinse and drain the heat exchanger. Soap solutions can be corrosive. Take care to rinse entire assembly. 19. Reinstall heat exchanger into cabinet making sure that the clamshells of the heat exchanger assembly are resting on the support located at the rear of the cabinet. Remove the indoor blower to view this area through the blower opening. 20. Resecure the supporting screws along the vestibule sides and bottom to the cabinet. Reinstall blower and mounting screws. 21. Reinstall cabinet screws on front flange at blower deck. 22. Reinstall the primary limit on the vestibule panel. 23. Root heating component wiring through hole in blower deck and reinsert strain relief bushing. 24. Reinstall electrical junction box. 25. Reinstall the combustion air inducer. Reconnect the combustion air inducer to the wire harness. 26. Reinstall pressure switches and reconnect pressure switch wiring. 27. Carefully connect combustion air pressure switch hosing from pressure switches to proper stubs on cold end header collector box. 28. 
Reinstall condensate trap. 29. Reconnect exhaust piping and exhaust drain tubing. 30. Reinstall burner box assembly in vestibule area. 31. Reconnect flame rollout switch wires. 32. Reconnect sensor wire and reconnect two pin plug from igniter. 33. Secure burner box assembly to vestibule panel using four existing screws. Make sure burners line up in center of burner ports. 34. Reinstall gas valve manifold assembly. Reconnect gas supply line to gas valve. 35. Reconnect two wires to gas valve. 36. Replace the blower compartment access panel. 37. Refer to instruction on verifying gas and electrical connections when re-establishing supplies. 38. Follow lighting instructions to light and operate furnace for 5 minutes to ensure that heat exchanger is clean and dry and that furnace is operating properly. 39. Replace heating compartment access panel. Cleaning the burner assembly. 1. Turn off electrical and gas power supplies to furnace. Remove upper and lower furnace access panels. 2. Disconnect the two pin plug from the gas valve. 3. Remove the burner box cover. 4. Disconnect the gas supply line from the gas valve. Remove gas valve manifold assembly. 5. Mark and disconnect sensor wire from the sensor. Disconnect two pin plug from the igniter at the burner box. 6. Remove four screws which secure burner box assembly to vest panel. Remove burner box from the unit. 7. Use the soft brush attachment on a vacuum cleaner to gently clean the face of the burners. Visually inspect the inside of the burners and crossovers for any blockage caused by foreign matter. Remove any blockage. 8. Reconnect the sensor wire and reconnect the two pin plug to the igniter wiring harness. 9. Reinstall the burner box assembly using the existing four screws. Make sure that the burners line up in the center of the burner ports. 10. Reinstall the gas valve manifold assembly. Reconnect the gas supply line to the gas valve. Reinstall the burner box cover. 11. Reconnect two pin plug to gas valve. 12. Replace the blower compartment access panel. 13. Refer to instruction on verifying gas and electrical connections when re-establishing supplies. 14. Follow lighting instructions to light and operate furnace for 5 minutes to ensure that heat exchanger is clean and dry and that furnace is operating properly. 15. Replace heating compartment access panel. 